As I said before, I think everybody knows that this is the year 2020. Uh, we had a wonderful start to confirmation this year, and then things went into pause mode for a while. I sent some emails, some lessons out. The next thing I heard was all the kids were getting lessons from their teachers, so I don't know if you were delighted from those emails or not, but um, nonetheless, it's always my privilege and joy to share the faith with anyone. I love Bible class, you know, if you've been. But uh, confirmation class is always, to me, a joy. And so here it is today, guys, September. It'll probably be the only time we ever have a confirmation class in September. So I don't know if that's a badge to wear or not. Uh, nonetheless, here we are, and we commend you guys. So um, in your bulletin, you hope to have an insert where the order of confirmation is, just so you can see where we are. And so uh, that's due to the service set before us. These young persons have been instructed in the Christian faith and desire to make public affirmation of their baptismal promises. And they have also selected these confirmation verses. And they are, for Christian Capistrano Big, uh, Psalm 55, 22. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. You will never let the righteous be shaken. And Samuel, Nathan, Fancy, you have selected Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And when Josie Metz, you have chosen Philippians 4.13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Three fine verses. May the Lord impress them on your heart always. In the love of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his disciples, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and love I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You have been baptized and catechized in the Christian faith according to our Lord's bidding. Jesus said, Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, for God all grace, and joyfully give an answer to what I now ask you in the name of the Lord. You this day, in the presence of God and of this congregation, acknowledge the gifts that God gave you in your baptism. Yes, sir. Do you renounce the devil? Yes, sir. Do you renounce all his works? Yes, sir. Do you renounce all his ways? Yes, sir. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Yes, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Do you hold all the prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God? I do. Do you confess the doctrine of the Evangelical Lutheran Church drawn from the scriptures as you have learned to know it from the small catechism? to be faithful and true. I do. Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully? I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to live according to the word of God and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death? I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession of church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? I do, by the grace of God. We rejoice with thankful hearts that you have been baptized and have received the teaching of the Lord. You have confessed the faith and been absolved of your sins. As you continue to hear the Lord's word and receive his blessed sacrament, he who has begun your work in you will bring it to completion on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In Christian name, God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you his Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, of grace and prayer, of power and strength, of sanctification and the fear of God. And Samuel Fancy, 
God the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving his Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, of grace and prayer, of power and strength, of sanctification and the fear of God. And when met, God the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, give you his Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, of grace and prayer, of power and strength, of sanctification and the fear of God. And we pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these, your sons, to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and enabling them both with the heart to believe and with the mouth to confess his saving name. Grant that, bringing forth the fruits of faith, and they continue steadfast and victorious to the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the Lord's peace be with you. Amen.